Now this requires certain things to happen. One of the things that has to happen is your knuckle has to be loose enough to make this work. So as you do your vibrato, what you should be seeing if you look down at your finger is that this knuckle, the initial knuckle right in here, that this knuckle is bending and flexing as you do the vibrato. In that way, you can see that different parts of your finger are actually touching the string through the vibrato stroke, right? Now, another thing that has to happen in order for this to be accomplished is that your thumb back here has also got to bend and flex. So what this requires is that you're only pressing down enough to get the string down and that your thumb is very light on the back of the neck. Okay? Now one of the things that I found as I've been working my vibrato exercises is that each finger has a slightly different balance and feel within the hand in order to find that magic center part of the pitch. When you're on your first and second finger, your thumb will tend to feel a little bit more forward to your hand. When you're on your third and your fourth finger, it will tend to feel a little bit back. And that's just because of the balance of the hand. If you try and keep your, you'll, you'll see, if you try to keep your thumb forward as you do a third finger vibrato, it creates a lot of tightness and discomfort. And same thing with the fourth finger, of course. So in relation to the third and the fourth finger, your thumb is going to feel as if it's much farther back than when you have your first and second finger. In reality, the thumb is not moving willy-nilly on the, on the, on the uh, back of the neck like this. I'm just talking about the balance of how it feels in your hand, okay? So these vibrato exercises need to be done in fourth position first, I think is the best place. And the reason why I say that is because that's the best place for you to get this push and pull feeling that gener that's generated from the elbow. Because the speed of your vibrato and the width of it should first come from here, and then, if your fingers are loose, it should also be timed exactly so that the vibrato itself comes into that knuckle that I was pointing to before when we had the vibrato cam on, okay? So as you push and pull, here's the rhythm and width down in here, right? And here is the fine muscle control that allows you to have uh, different pitches within the vibrato. Because if you move your hand back and forth and you keep this very tight, well, what will happen is you'll have to wind up having to slide back and forth on the string to create vibrato, and nobody, of course, does that, right? It's much more important that the knuckle itself takes up the shock of motion from the elbow, okay? 